So in the last episode, I showed you about the wire tool and the wind turbine and also the counter. Now, I'm going to do a slight variation here where I'm going to try, well, I'm actually going to connect up a wind turbine that's all the way up there and connect it to another counter right next to it. Uh, the main reason for this is because I've been told and so on and so forth that it makes a difference if your wind turbine is behind an object or if it's high up etc. So let's have a look, this is only five stories high and we're going to see if that is any good. I'm going to put this on the wall next to it and I'm going to connect the wind turbine to the power in. So I've left clicked on the power in this time. Crazy you might say. It is not the other way around. You can do it whichever way you want to. It's, it works. I'm going to make it semi tidy. I really can't be bothered to make it perfectly tidy, so I'm going to go up on that corner. Going all the way up. As you can see, one thing I'm hoping you're noticing is that the wire tool is actually recognizing that the wire value is going down you can see the length there okay that's very important as well because you can only take the wire so far can't remember what it is exactly but basically when you get to zero you haven't got any space left so you need to think about that okay so I am going to connect this up to the wind turbine, stick it in the middle here and power out. Now you can see at the moment that is outputting 85. Let's go and see what the other one's doing. Alright, let's reconfigure this to show the pass through. There we go. So, one on the left is the one on the ground at sea level. One on the right is at the top of the five story building and you can see that there is a definite power difference between the two. That's it for now. I hope it helps. Catch you in a bit.